This clip will demonstrate how to put a, a validation rule on the status column in the dentist table. So if we look at the, the values in the status column, we've part-time, permanent and contract. So if we have a rule in the dental practice which says all of our employees, all of our dentists must fit one of those three categories, then we can have a validation rule that forces that. So for, at the moment, for example, what we could do is uh, because there's no validation rule on the status column, we could go in here and take out the contract and put in something like temp. And we could close the table or save it and access won't complain. So what we've just done here is broken the rule or broken our intended rule, I suppose. Okay, there's no rule in place. Uh, but if we have a policy of only having those three types of, of dentist, then that value temp shouldn't have been allowed and contract should have been forced uh, instead. So what you can do is you can put a validation rule on any column in a table and the validation rule in this case is going to concentrate on the status column and it's going to limit the status values to the three possible values we're, sh we're showing here. So you have to go to design view. When you go to design view, the status column is your target. So you go down here to, to target or to status, sorry, and it's a um, short text column. It's a text text value. So short text is fine. So we've got to go down to validation rule. And there's a number of ways you can write this, but the handiest one is just to say the three possibilities are contract. We put them in alphabetical order. We go with contract first, or part-time, or, con or, or permanent. permanent wrong there is an n missing so it's p-e-r-m-a-n-e-n-t and when we click away from that uh validation rule slot and click somewhere else what you'll notice that microsoft access automatically puts single quotes around it or double quotes rather around the word contract and around the word part-time and around the word permanent so you could type them in yourself if you wish to but access automatically does it for you anyway so how do we prove this this new rule works. So we have three values here, contract or part-time or permanent. So again, just make sure you spelt all three of the values correctly. Uh, otherwise it'll create trouble later on. So we've got to close the table to try and um, get access to save this rule. Access asks me, do I want to save, the, save my changes to design? I say yes. And then access reminds me that I've changed the rules. I've changed data integrity rules. So in other words, access is kind of saying, well, the existing data in the database may not be valid for this new rule. So if contract, if we had people like temporary in the database, then the three the three values I've suggested here, contract, part-time or permanent, well, won't be won't be any good to me. Because if I have temporary, uh, in, in dentist classified as temporary, then it, 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 de temporary isn't on my list of options. So anyway, hopefully because I have covered my three options that I already have on the table with the three that I'm listing here, this uh, validation process should, uh, or the checking of existing data should happen very rapidly. So the question here, it says, do you want my existing data to be test tested for the new rules? So I'm going to say yes. And the fact that the, the table closes immediately uh, suggests uh, that all is good. So when I open the table, dentist table, and again here, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to take, let's say, one of my contract people. And now I'll just cut the word contract and put in the word temp instead. So when I click away from this row, click anywhere else other than this row, access is going to tell me that the, the values are, that are allowed here are contract, part-time, or permanent for the status column. So the value I've put in there, the word temp, isn't uh, one of those three values. Therefore, access won't allow me save that uh, change because it violates my rule. So I'm reminded to put in to put a enter a value or expression, or uh, sorry, that the expression or the rule for this field can accept. I'm going to OK that. I'm going to do what it tells me. I'm going to put back contract in in place. So that proves that the validation rule is working. Okay, the contract is one of the three allowed, allowed options. So likewise, I can go to add a new row, number eight here. Okay, and I'll call it, the forename will be D and the surname will be F. Town, I'm going to put in as L for letter Kenny. And again, you notice here that access is allowing me 
to put in very abbreviated forenames and surnames and towns. So that maybe that could be tidied up as, as well a bit. And I'll put in my uh, uni ID, I'll put in as 11. And I'll keep the same hire date as the previous individual. And I'll leave the salary. I'll, again, from the previous uh, validation rule, the salary is has to be a value of between 30 and 50. So if I put, if I put in 70,000 here, I should be, get rejected. I do. That rule is still in place. So I'll just leave it at, at 50 and it should be fine. And again, here, if I go to my um, possible status values and I put in something like um, temporary again. That's when I click on the click away from that field or text box access uh, reminds me uh, just like it did a moment ago that any value in this column in the status column for an existing record or for a new record must be one of the three choices must be one of part time permanent or contract. So I'm going to take out the words uh, there and see can I click away from the cell I can or the field I can. I'm going to put, put the put the value contract on this row as well. So when I click away from that, it's fine. I could leave the root canal, uh, or sorry, the specialism column blank. So that'd be another, so if I go to save this record, okay, I've provided some details about this individual, very, very brief or skimpy in some cases, but will access allow me to save the record? It will. So in other words, the, this new record I've added, even though some of my details look uh, as a too brief or to be useful, I, I I am allowed to add this dentist provided he fulfills the status column conditions. This dentist is one of the three, the contract status that I've given this dentist is one of the three allowed values or permitted values. But the other thing I'm allowed to do here is I'm allowed to leave the specialism column blank if I wish. And again, that might, mightn't be a good idea. So I'll just, I'll just put in filling as the possibility. So there are still, even though I have validation rules now on my um, status column and on my salary column, there are other columns in the table that might benefit from other field properties or perhaps validation rules been put in place. That demonstrates a validation column or validation rule on a uh, text column. So status, oh sorry, for status it was it's a text column and for salary it's a numeric column. That's the end of this clip.